Christmas in Paris was on my bucket list for a long time. It's full of old world charm, amazing foods and smells, but if you don't plan ahead, you might miss out on some amazing opportunities, get caught off guard by things that are closed, or things that are booked up way in advance. So in this video, we'll share 10 things you need to know to plan your holiday vacation in Paris. Are you ready? I am. Allez, on y va. Let's go. Christmas markets are a big part of enjoying the holidays in Europe, and you'll find them all around Paris from late November until the end of the year, and they are full of old world charm. You'll find wooden chalets filled with yummy seasonal foods and vendors selling gifts and crafts, twinkling lights and festival rides and games for the whole family. And here's some of our favorites. La Magie of Noel, or the Magic of Christmas, at the Tuileries Garden by the Louvre, at the Notre Dame Plaza, in Saint-Germain by the Saint-Germain de Prix Church, the Montmartre Christmas Market at the Abbesse Metro Station, at the Hotel de Ville, and of course, at the Eiffel Tower. Every year, Paris is beautifully decorated with lights for the holidays. Most of them are decorated starting around the 20th of November all the way until after the new year. And there are a few streets you don't want to miss. The most famous one, of course, is l'Avenue des Champs-Élysées and Avenue Montaigne, which is right off the big avenue. You can go up and down the avenue on foot, but last year we rented a vintage de chevaux and we had a blast. I put a link in the description so you can check that out. Next is Place Vendôme, which is magical at Christmas time. Last year, they had a horse carriage that you could hire to take around. Other fun places to see with lights is the plaza in front of the Hotel de Ville and Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré, which is near the American Embassy. We've added a link in the description below to a map with all the top locations in Paris. Like most large cities, department stores are a great place to get in the holiday spirit. Each one has magical decorations and window displays. And the big stores to look for in Paris are the BHV right by the Hotel de Ville, Bon Marché in Saint-Germain, Saint-Maritain by the Louvre or Pont Neuf, Printemps near the Opera, and of course, Gallery Lafayette with its iconic dome and rooftop views of the city all lit up for the holidays. Of course, a trip to Paris during the holidays wouldn't be complete without trying some of the food. A sweet crepe with chocolate and whipped cream is always a good idea and a must for me during the holidays. A French onion soup a la Jacobine is Colleen's favorite and she was very impressed with their hot chocolate too, which is delightful when it's cold outside. Besides the seasonal roasted chestnuts that you'll find at just about every street corner, I'd recommend you try the foie gras with a nice glass of red wine for a starter in a restaurant. Now, what's also seasonal in France is oysters and seafood platters with clams, oysters, lobsters, and sea urchins. That, with a good bottle of wine, is a must for us during the holidays. Now, many restaurants in Paris offer seafood platters during the winter month, so it's not difficult to find. And a good platter of mussels and fries at Solomoncy and Saint-Germain is also a great idea. At Disneyland Paris, the Enchanted Christmas runs from November 12th to January 8th, and it comes this year with their 30th anniversary celebration. Of course, it's full of holiday lights, shows, and parades. From the dancing fountains at Sleeping Beauty's Castle to Santa's Holiday Village, there's something for everyone. The streets are not as dolled up as they are in the U.S., but the hotels and restaurants are extra special. In France, the real star is Les Verts Gourmand, or a celebration of yummy winter foods.
Every winter, you'll find outdoor skating rinks around Paris where you can have fun as a family or as a couple. The Christmas market at the Tuileries Gardens has one every year and it looks like a lot of fun. The plaza in front of the Hotel de Ville should also have one. Now, if you're not a good skater, you can let the kids have some fun while you enjoy some hot malt wine or a hot cocoa in the food stand nearby. Most of those ice rinks require that you wear some gloves, so make sure to have a pair. But if you forgot, you can usually buy a pair on site for five to 10 euros. Another fun thing to do over the holidays is to see a concert or ballet performance. Look for the Nutcracker, Swan Lake, Snow Queen, or a special performance from the Paris Opera School of Dance. Concerts in Paris churches and cathedrals are beautiful any time of year, but even more stunning over the holidays. You'll find Christmas concert at Saint-Chapelle, Saint-Eustache, Saint-Sulpice, the Madeleine, and Vivaldi's Four Seasons at the Saint-Germain-de-Prix Church, or Handel's Messiah at the American Cathedral. Or check out shows at Salle Gustave Eiffel and the Eiffel Tower, or Le Grand Concert de Noël in the Champs-Élysées Theater. Another fun way to celebrate is to take a Seine River cruise. Discovering Paris from the river gives you a total different perspective of the city of light. And this one is the Pont Alexandre Dumont. You can book a simple champagne cruise or a dinner cruise, and we have links below to some of the cruise we recommend. The cruises leave from several locations in Paris, but our favorite is to depart from the base of the Eiffel Tower and go up the river to Notre Dame and back. Most of these will offer a Christmas Eve and a New Year's cruise. If that's what you have in mind, I'd book that now to make sure it's not sold out for the dates you're looking for. I checked a few of them and many are already sold out, so I'd hurry up. If you're in Paris and want to celebrate more traditional parts of the holidays, you can join in a public menorah lighting at eight major locations around the city, starting with the first night lighting at the Eiffel Tower on December 18th, followed by the next seven nights at major plazas around the city. For Christmas Eve or Christmas Day Mass, check out the American Cathedral, which is an Episcopal church near Georges Sank Metro Station. The American Church, which is an interdenominational Protestant church near the Invalids. St. Joseph's Roman Catholic Church near Charles de Gaulle Etoile Metro. St. Eustache Catholic Church near Léal, or Église Saint-Étienne du Monde Catholic Church in Saint-Germain. Now you should expect a lot of things to be closed on Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Most French people celebrate on Christmas Eve and rest on Christmas Day. So finding something open on the 25th might be a bit tricky, but as any big city, you'll still have plenty that will be open. The large brasseries and luxury hotels are usually a sure bet for a holiday meal, but smaller cafes and bistros will most likely be closed. The same goes for the local boulangeries and stores. I would expect them to be closed. Now in the highly tourist areas, like around Notre Dame and the Champs-Élysées, you'll have plenty of good options to find a meal, but that may not be the case in the smaller neighborhoods. Note that many of the 105 museums in Paris will be closed on Christmas Day, but a few are open, so check their website before going there. For shopping, most Christmas markets and department stores will be closed. After 2 p.m., if the weather is nice, you'll start to see people going for a stroll along the River Seine. So if you want to feel the vibe, I join the Parisians in this ritual. Just remember to dress warm and in layers.